Twin Flame Love Large numbers of you realize that I've been exploring perfect partners and twin flame connections for the majority of numerous years, also finding my twin flame a long time back. I have advanced very entirely significant examples that have helped many twin flame couples rejoin and numerous others perceive their perfect partner. It is every one of the comparable interactions. The most troublesome aspect of the converging of perfect partners and twin flames is that piece of tolerating that occasionally separation is vital. At the point when this does occur, it can feel that everything trust is lost and your life completely depleted. While this sensation of agony occurs, it truly has neither rhyme nor reason, the super profound energy between twin flames is enhanced, and seeing anything plainly through that large number of emotions is truly troublesome. Through research and my very own insight, I have found many justifications for why this occurs. On the off chance that you have questions reach me for direction. Assuming something like this is happening in your life, it is all going to work out. You must have confidence. The reason why twin flames are isolated, this may not be the ideal opportunity for you both to join together. Even if one of you is adequately authorworldly to remember the other, we are parted from our twin flame in the first place. They end up interfacing with the genuine other portion of our soul. Many tests and preliminaries come when twin spirits are going to join in this lifetime. Some things should end up testing us some of the time to the limit. Numerous things can isolate genuine perfect partners and twin flames. Simply recollect as long you are both on this planet together it will end up working. The key here is to lean on your instinct paying attention to your soul. We for the most part need to do something contrary to what we believe is on the whole correct to arrive at our actual objective, assuming you're the twin that is trusting that your other half will turn out to be liberated from a test and preliminary. This is the way this will help. Take a stab at being mindful, delicate, and very tolerant. Recall whether you push them to solid they will take off from you. Because your energy is a major area of strength for excessively them to deal with around then. Separation when your twin flame leaves you for some time. They have karmic energy to chip away at before they are prepared to join with you correctly. The main thing is they depend on their instinct not getting up to speed with interruptions or other sentiments. Their heart knows the very perfect soul way to take. Twin flames are the entire of being one unceasingly associated. They love you genuinely, regardless of whether their cognizant brain truly understands it. The soul does. The point when you are isolated from your twin flame with no contact, is the most unpleasant time in what seems like forever. Be that as it may, never alarm. Let go or surrender. This is the best opportunity to expand your authorworldly association with the heavenly light. Utilizing this opportunity to mend, fostering your authorworldly abilities and information. Then you are joined with your twin soul and it will be the most astonishing experience. You both will have a definitive ability to proceed to impact the world together. Remain solid for your twin flame and don't surrender. You might have previously met your twin flame. Perhaps it began as an incredible fellowship or you dated for some time. There could have been one being the sprinter and the other chaser going after what they couldn't get or understand. This is exceptionally normal as well. Your twin flame is something contrary to you. Everything is strengthened and you will feel like a magnet to metal. On the off chance that one twin profoundly wants to rejoin with their other a portion, the energy flips and may go to the inverse, driving them away as a result of dread. You both mirror one another, so, when one goes to dread or attempts to control what is happening, it's truly vital to have restrictions for the positive and love for one another. It is how they need to be adored. Have a go at going to a delicate kind and understanding. If they are in a sprinter stage, not having any desire to lose or abandon them, yet allowing them to permit them to return when they are prepared and have a solid sense of safety. 
Twin Flames Having a telepathic connection how to receive messages, twin flames and soulmates, in general, are all spiritually associated. Twin flames or soulmates. Many various sorts can interface on various levels. Many times, divine spirits are shipped off us being brought back from past lives that we shared. This will create some exceptionally serious energy between them. Realizing that they have shared something extremely confidential. This is exceptionally normal with twin spirits, twin flames, twin rays, and even karmic connections, past life connections as well. Understanding that there are various sorts of spiritual connections in the soulmate aggregate that fill an alternate need in our lives. Twin flames, twin rays, or twin spirits are different halves of each other. When they can activate their spirit place to a higher recurrence, their telepathy and the way that they impact the energy is areas of strength for very. One soul split into two and then, at that point, we will have a constant yearning to come into a heavenly association. This can also be achieved by associating with your higher self. You will want to associate with your heavenly partner. Regardless of the sort of connection, this spirit aggregate is a large gathering. Twin flames can instantly interface on a telepathic level when they are aware and awake. They can feel each other's energies. This amplifies their spirit place to what is called a 5D level. As soon as twin flames meet, something mind-blowing happens. This instantly awakens their spirit community to a higher recurrence, causing a spirit shock that they have never felt with anyone else. How would we interface with our heavenly soulmate twin flame telepathically? In the first place, let me say this, not every person will want to telepathically communicate. This can be done when an individual is empathic and untuned with spirituality. Many times this can take years with meditation and aligning your chakras. Try not to get discouraged on the off chance that it's not working for you. Everybody is extraordinary in many ways, they can associate once in a while to dreams, dreams, and in any event, hearing certain messages. 1. Feeling each other's energy. Without attempting to tap into your heavenly partner, you both can get each other's random sentiments and contemplations, on the off chance that you are separated, you may detect what the other one is doing. Yet be careful with this because many times you may be setting off a negative idea from the past, too. Hearing your twin flame's voice, this individual may not associate with you, and you had very strong suspicions you heard them say something yet however everything was peaceful. These are messages being brought to you from their higher self. However you may not understand the reason why you're hearing their voice or on the other hand, assuming you ought to talk to yourself, it's strongly suggested that you reciprocate these messages. 3. Seeing your twin flame in your dreams. However your twin is still here, you both may have the option to travel inside and inside your dreams and communicate telepathically in a dream state while dozing. 4. Answering each other. Twin spirits can complete each different sentence and hear what the other one wants, regardless of whether they are not together. On the off chance that you are in a physical association or not, you will answer something suddenly when nobody was around. This is your spirit amplifying energy to your higher self. Both of you can sporadically communicate, almost like paying attention to a walkie-talkie or radio, attempting to clear the channel. 5. At the point when twin flames are in an association or able to communicate by simply taking a gander at each other, on the off chance that they are apart, they actually can shut their eyes and meditate into each other's eyes, giving each other messages. I always suggest recording these messages after they have been given telepathically into a journal. Afterward meditating over them to make sure the messages are traversing. 6. Signs and dreams. The signs can come randomly in many structures. The most popular numbers are 111, 1111, 11, 222, 
2222, 444, and so forth, also, feathers, tags with names, and certain melodies that address something uniquely amazing however, are not exceptionally popular being played in random places. These signs are part of the cycle of breaking through telepathically, and all have a message attached, no, they are not clear on what they mean, they're all addressing that something is about to be brought out in me open. The best thing to do is to pay attention to different signs, dreams, dreams, and messages that come through. 7. Twin flames can see each other as mirrors. This isn't simply with twin flames yet in addition to soulmates. This is extremely serious energy. It feels almost as if they have an X-ray vision of each other. 8. Feelings running high. However, everything may appear to be alright in your life. And you will feel an unexpected flood of emotional fear and uncertainty or even start shouting suddenly. You are tuning into your heavenly soulmate and sympathizing with their pain and hurt or whatever they are going through at that point. Some of the time it tends to be scary how it simply happens suddenly from no place. The best thing to do is to shut your eyes and let them know everything will be alright. Take a full breath and attempt to calm yourself at the same time you will quiet their energy. 9. The telephone ringing or random calls from numbers you don't perceive. Indeed, we as a whole have telemarketers and solicitors calling, yet when there is an inclination that you get when that telephone rings, and it's not because of living in fantasy land, yet you know without a shadow of an uncertainty, that that was something other than an off-base number. This is an indication that they are attempting to reach out, this can be them behind that line, or it very well may be they're telepathically and energetically communicating with you. Something extremely fascinating to pay special attention to. 10. Your twin flame considering you. Divine soulmates have an amazing ability to tap into each other's psyche minds, and alter our emotional temperaments. As I referenced about getting emotional for not a glaringly obvious explanation, the same goes with them, while they're pulling on your energy with your viewpoints. This is part of the telepathy in the cognizance of twin flames. They can feel when they are down and their vibrations spiral down. This is mainly because they are both in a state of harmony, vibrationally as one soul. This also goes for when they are in a positive mentality. The energy is reciprocated. Heavenly soulmates and twin flames have to deal with themselves. Usually, work on their faults to release and give up them, as part of the spiritual advancement to come into the association. Heavenly soulmates and twin flames have to deal with themselves, and usually work on their faults to release and give up them, as part of the spiritual advancement to come into the association. If one has not done this yet, there are past injuries and old faults still in them. This brings a cockeyed energy that they are not ready for. It can happen to both the heavenly ladylike and masculine, Many accept it is just masculine. However, the two of them can switch their initial jobs with Sprinter and Chazer, along with leaning to divine masculine and heavenly ladylike. Both are inside all of us. This will just mean that there is more work for them to do together, simultaneously physically together or separated. They will go on until the cows come home to get it right with each other.